Ever since I first saw the frame on this painting, something caught my eye that wasn't, wasn't exactly right. You can see the clusters of acorns and the oak leaves going around this way, and you can see them going around this way in this direction. So if you follow the tips going around, all the way around the frame, the tips come together and they join right here. So that always kind of bothered me, and I'm thinking, you know, it seems almost as if this frame ought to be this way. So originally this frame was on a portrait of somebody that was standing. At this time they weren't using screws and nails. And the way they would attach these things is they used wooden dowels. The dowel does not shrink over time this way. It shrinks this way. So what's happening is that this dowel is coming out of this strip of wood. And there are other ones on here as well. This is probably one of the finest frames in our collection. Not only in its design, but also in its craftsmanship. A lot of people wonder why you see these big cracks in the corners. As the wood shrinks, if you can imagine, it's pulling together this way. And as that happens, it pulls apart in the corners. So it's not anything that we're really very concerned about. It's just part of the aging process. Gold tended to reflect the light into a painting and pick up the ambient light that was in the room. Now you have to remember that they didn't have electric lights. They had candlelight, lamp light. And if the lights were off in this gallery, you would see this frame would actually look like it's glowing, glowing in the dark. The Vasily Kandinsky had been hanging in the galleries for years in a, in a gold cassetta style frame that really wasn't appropriate to the painting at all. We felt this frame was much more appropriate in that it helped to focus more attention on the painting itself. The Picasso also had a gold frame on it. And from this distance, when you would look at the Picasso, the first thing you saw was the gold frame. You see how that reflection on the top of the frame distracts from that painting? Now, with that darker frame on it, right away you can tell it's a Picasso. There, there's no question that down at the other end of the gallery, at the far end, look, there's a Picasso down there. Most people, when they come into a museum, are not going to notice the frames. That's the point. The point is to notice the painting. And then for the frame to make that painting or that photograph or drawing look the best it can possibly look, to make that experience for the viewer the best experience that they can possibly have.